Because after all, as a species, we're tool makers. And with a simple tool, two wheels, some gears, a little bit of metal, we weren't weak anymore. We were limitless, right? And that's why in the 1980s, when Steve Jobs was introducing the Macintosh, he described it, as I'm sure many of you have heard this before, the computer as the bicycle for the mind. Now that idea has stuck with me ever since I first heard it. And for a couple of reasons, but primarily, for me at least, this is the best description of what I believe technology is supposed to do. It takes our natural limits and it transforms them into something extraordinary. So today I'm, I'm gonna talk about AI, artificial intelligence. And I wanna challenge all of you to think about AI in the same way, not as a replacement for human intelligence, not as a replacement for humans at all. In fact, not even a threat to who we are. But instead, I want you to think of it as the next bicycle. A bicycle not just for the mind, but for our society, for our economy, and for our future.